Good morning, guys. We're at Value Village. Kind of want to pick this up, Victoria's Secret. It's a brand new Pure Seduction. Don't know what it smells like, but usually all of Victoria's Secret stuff I like, smell-wise. There are these little charm things that I got from here. I wonder if they have any more because I listed them on Marketplace and I got like a ton of messages. So I think I underpriced it. I didn't answer anybody's messages though. <laughs> They're like these little Charmkins charms. Don't see any. Are these little Tamagotchis? No. Apparently Tamagotchis are selling high on eBay. Let's go look at the purses. Ugh, competition. Ugh. Salvation Army, we're at Value Village. I just smelled Burger King over there. Ugh, it smells so good. Which I don't like. <laughs> it smells good, but I don't like smelling it. Thank you. I love these carts. They're so exciting to see what they have on them. Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. Welcome back to the channel. Happy April, everybody. We are in April. I can't believe we're in April already. Soon it's gonna be spring and then summer and then the fun begins. But <laughs> I haven't been thrifting much lately because the weather has been iffy. Uh, the snow will melt and then my car will get splashed and I don't have windshield wipers so I can't see crap. And then like it's raining a bit so like it looks like it's gonna rain. It's been like drizzling a bit. So I can't even go too, like I can't stray too far from where I live otherwise if it starts pouring, I'd be stuck wherever I was and I can't drive because I have no windshield wipers and that's not going to be fixed until April. So it's been a long while since I've seen Daniel thrifting. Like we haven't been thrifting regularly since uh, Monday of last week. So that's like over a week. Um, but yeah, I did stop by. I've been stopping by the thrift store here and there, but I don't really do our entire run. I did go to the thrift store today and picked up two things it's it's been really sparse at the thrift store daniel is out thrifting right now and he's like showing me things and it's kind of like i don't i know he doesn't mean it but it's a little bit irritating because it's like why are you showing me this shit like unless you're gonna pick it up for me why are you showing it to me <laughs> you know? like you showed me like a louis vuitton bag the vaquetta looked good but i don't know and then like and then he showed me like two imax and whatever like I don't get the like I, I get you're excited seeing things but i'm like i don't know it's just to me it's irritating but whatever yeah because before i used to do the same thing to him and he'd be like well why are you showing it to me unless you're picking it up for me so i don't really show him anything unless i'm picking it up for him you know so i expect the same courtesy we only picked up two things at the thrift store we only hit like two thrift stores but i picked up this victoria's secret pure seduction for 10 bucks and i used a two dollar off coupon for it it says juiced plum crushed freesia and all night long. I don't know. I don't know how old this is, but hopefully it's not expired. I'm using like, I do like their fragrances. I'm a huge fan of Victoria's Secret fragrances. Dave was also. <laughs> he, his favorite fragrance was very sexy from Victoria's Secret for men. Mine is Bombshell Obby. But the one I'm using right now is True uh, Tease Rebel is what I'm using. Again, thrifted for like three bucks. I like it. It smells like, it smells, to be honest, it smells like Y2K a teenager, but in like a good way. <laughs> Cause like Victoria's Secret scents are not cheap. Like they're not freaking Ardeen or Claire's. They're like, I think a bottle of bombshell is like $120. I think they're not cheap. I know sometimes they go on sale, but it's rare. And I don't know. Usually the, the bombshell perfumes that go on sale are the ones that are like the limited edition, like bombshell night or bombshell gold or bombshell seduction or, you know, 
I love them all except for one bombshell I think it was a bombshell gold I didn't care for and the only other thing that I got was this Fendi uh, Fendi eyeglass case in case we thrift a Fendi eyeglasses paid full price for it four bucks but whatever and that's all that we got and I don't know if we can thrift anymore because the weather is the weather is uncooperative I've been craving like Chinese food I saw this TikTok guys of this lady and she ordered like a roast duck from like this Chinese food place and it's like a whole duck and then like the beginning of the video is like her chomping its face off like I get that she's doing it for the views and she's going to well, pay a lot of money for it but it was disturbing to me you know she just bit its beak and face and started eating it and like half its face was gone I mean it is a cooked it was already cooked it wasn't like raw or anything but still it's like it's things like that that uh really get under my skin i don't know i get like people eat meat but when i see things like that i don't like it <laughs> and then my friend's uh my friend's mother her dog passed away and she's had that dog forever and it just reminded me of when my dogs were passing away and i just i just feel for her anybody who has an animal that passes away it just just uh tugs on my heartstrings and that's why I want to be vegan vegetarian because people think that pigs cows chickens dogs like they don't have emotion or feelings they don't have the intelligence that we have obvi but they are capable of emoting and feeling and bonding and caring and loving and attaching and bond did i say bonding or <laughs> and if a living being feels that way and can do those and to me it's kind of like and I'm eating it, you know? I saw this other TikTok of this woman who breeds dogs and her dog was like looking, like was very distraught and anxious looking for her dogs that they had sold away, you know? And in her video, she's like, I feel bad. I'm like, you don't feel bad, bitch. Because if you did feel bad, you wouldn't be breeding your dog and selling it for money. I don't know. The world is a crazy place. I've experienced so much. I've lived two lives, two different lives, if you know, you know. And I don't know. I just feel like I want to be somewhere else. <laughs> I love this world. Don't get me wrong, but just the pe I don't. I don't know. I feel like humanity is just not humanity. I feel like, like I even speak for myself sometimes because sometimes I feel like I have a hard time being empathetic or a hard time not being nice, but just opening up to people because I just am so. I'm just so, the experience and life that I've lived has made me so, I don't know what the word is, jaded or what's the word where it's just, I'm just like standoffish and don't want to engage with people. Um, case in point, like my best friend, Rochelle, we went to the park on Sunday and as I was walking with her and my goddaughter and I was just not having fun. I just was like, I I was tired. I was cold because it was cold. And it was like, I love these people, but I don't want to be here right now. And we only ended up just doing one round of walking at the park. And that's why I kind of don't like doing things. And I'm not very social at the moment because I don't want to go out and then just ruin other people's plans because I'm like, I don't feel like I'm having fun. I don't want to be here. I just want to go home. And then like, you know, they took the, the day out of they took the time out of their day to hang out with me and then I'm just cut, cut, cutting plans you know and to circle back and I don't want to keep bringing it up well I keep bringing it up but whatever like that's why like I miss Dave so much is because I just had so much fun with him whether we were just walking whether we were just at his apartment whether we were in the car I remember vividly one thing that's an example was we did this two-hour hike and I was so annoyed <laughs> I was like, oh, he wanted to do it. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't walk, you know, two hours there and then two hours back. That's freaking four hours out of the day. He's like, no, it's going to be fun. There's a leak at the end. And I was mad as hell because we were walking and we were being eaten by bugs. And then it was like a muddy trail. But because it was with him, it, was, it made the journey fun, you know. Anybody else, I would have been just like losing my shit, okay. So that's why... That's why I miss him so much. And that's why I post so much about him is because I just had so much fun with him, you know. And I 
feel like I'm, I know it's not true, but just in the current state, I feel like, am I ever going to have that kind of rapport and connection with someone else? How? You know, you really don't know because you, you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to have that connection with someone else. I, we're getting too deep. <laughs> we're getting, we're too deep and we don't get no sleep and we'll be up all night until the early light. Starbucks, thank you, Carol, thank you, Ivanya. I think I'm gonna get rid of my post office post box because like literally it's a waste of money. I'm trying to cut money too. Like I literally got like a final notice bill for my <laughs> for my um, electric bill because I I'm late on it. So I paid like half of it today and I'll pay half of it the next Friday I called them. But it's one thing we don't want to lose electric. Um but what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the post office box because, like, literally, I don't. It's like when I have it, I, nothing comes. If I don't have it, then people ask me for it. But I'm just going to be like, no, I'm not going to have it anymore. If people want to send me things, depending on the person. If I know them and I've interacted with them enough, I might give them my address. But for the most part, I probably won't accept anything from anybody um, because I don't want them to send it to my apartment. <laughs> you know? Well, actually, I could give them my address to my apartment. It's like, but what, what, I gonna, what am I going to do? posted online I've had my address online before when I lived in a house and nothing ever happened so but yeah and it's my birthday in a month guys one month till my birthday oh my god <laughs> I honestly don't feel like my age to be honest I feel like I honestly feel like I'm 25 or 26 that's how I feel like in terms of like behavior attitude preferences how I act and probably how I would dress if I was skinnier because uh, we're practically middle age and is this the face of the new middle age of the 21st century I don't know <laughs> um I mean like even without my sunglasses or any like facial work done I feel like I still kind of look young I don't feel like I look my age I, I, I mean I feel like I look tired brows are not done but um yeah but like I told you guys, I'm I'm signed up for a nose job and a um, brow reduction. So this will be shaved down and then nose will be in. So hopefully that fixes our body dysmorphic disorder. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to go see my doctor today. He's like a really good doctor. I saw him. Last time I saw him was March and he was the bomb he's younger which is good and he's like he specializes in like lgbtq community so that's good too and i don't know he was just very like personable he said he was wearing a mask and then when he came in he's like i'm not wearing a mask because of covid i'm wearing a mask because i just got filler and i look like a duck <laughs> like oh my god that's so funny so that was like so funny but yeah i don't know I went to the grocery store and got Chinese food. Did I tell you guys that? I got, um, what did I get? I got spicy fish, shrimp, and I think, yeah, and, that, and rice. So, which makes me feel a little bit of a hypocrite because I'm like, I don't like eating animals, but I'm eating fish. But like I said, I'm all, I'm transitioning. So I think I'm doing really good. In terms of meat wise, I'm probably eating meat um, I'd say not more than two to three times a week and only one meal. And, but for the most part, I'm not eating meat. I'm still eating a bit of fish and shrimp. Not as much, just lately. Like I think the last two or three days I've been eating more because I've been having sushi. But I'd like to cut back on that as well because those are living beings as well. And we don't want to eat them. And sometimes I wonder about that. Like, say if you're a vegetarian vegan and you're dating someone who's not. Like, after you eat and you kiss, won't you have, like, that meat taste in their mouth? Like, little remnants and particles of meat go into your body? I don't know. Anyway, I was talking about the, the whole humanity thing, like, in the world. Yeah, I just feel like the world is not a good place. Like, even when you look at people who are online. And I know the majority of people aren't online. And the majority of people who are, act like a fool online isn't the real world. But since that's my world, I just feel like that reflects on the real world. You know what I mean? 
Like people are online, online are vicious. They're like disgusting and vile, abhorrent. And like even people are just rude. And sometimes I catch myself doing that and I try to catch it and STFU because what, what's the point of saying something rude to someone, you know? Like I'll see a, a, like a, a TikTok or a short and I'll just be annoyed by the people in it and I'll be like, gonna comment. I'm like, why am I commenting? If I don't like it, why do I gotta say anything? So I just don't say anything and I just scroll past it. I mean, it doesn't really affect me one way or another. I think people just need to learn that more in life. If you don't like something, why bother commenting on it? It's not gonna benefit you in any way. If anything, it'll just make your life worse. You know, you're hurting someone else and you're probably really hurting yourself inside as well. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, I think I'm heading home because I think the weather is changing and it's going to rain soon and I can't use my wipers. So I love you guys and thank you to all the new subscribers. Hopefully we'll get back on a thrifting regular schedule in the next few days or so. Okay guys, I thought I would stop by one more thrift store because it was all the way home anyway. So we are stopping by the Goodwill right there. Should be fun. I actually want to check out their window to see if there's anything good in the window. <coughs> this is where Dave and I used to work out when this was a Snap Fitness. Special machine is pretty cool. That Lego City big box, 20 bucks. I paid 20 bucks for that. Ralph Lauren, meh. Coach bag, I don't know, meh. It's kind of cute though, 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside. What is our purse section? It's kind of cool. Looks like it's vintage. 